This is a Gradowski of WeAreChange.org. Somewhere in the backwoods of Vancouver, Canada, don't ask. Anyway, I wanted to discuss the number one story today, and that is the Susan Rice scandal. And in this video, we're going to talk about exactly what happened, the larger implications of this, and even the drama behind releasing of this scandal, which is showing to have a very significant impact on Barack Obama's administration. Now, if you didn't know, Susan Rice is an established Democrat. She was also the national security advisor for Barack Obama. Now, the main reason why I want to talk about about this story is because CNN has gone fully insane and manic when it comes to this scandal. Look at Don Lemon. There is no evidence whatsoever that the Trump team surveilled or spied on, was, was spied on illegally. There is no evidence that backs up the president's original claim. And on this program tonight, we will not insult your intelligence by pretending otherwise, nor will we aid and abet the people who are trying to misinform you, the American people, by creating a diversion. Literally, poor Don Lemon was urging their viewers to ignore this story. And it gets worse. Jim Masciuto, later on CNN, went on and said, That's what I'm told, and again, to note, by senior intelligence officials who work for both Democrats and Republicans. Uh, this appears to be a story largely ginned up partly as, as a distraction from, from this larger investigation. Saying, no, no this, is, this is a distraction. Guys, we got to ignore this story. And the Internet's coming back saying, no, we're not going to do that at all. Mainly because this is a big scandal. And everyone, except for CNN, are finding it to be important. Now, to me, this story is not as scandalous as many people make it out to be, because as we reported to you before, WikiLeaks revealed how the CIA spies on virtually everyone. Edward Snowden revealed how the NSA spies on every single U.S. citizen. So when Donald Trump Trump tweeted that Barack Obama was wiretapping his Trump Tower. We made a video saying, no, duh, we're not surprised. But even his own FBI director contradicted him and the mainstream media made fun of him and creating a scandal just from that one tweet that he released, which of course now they're shooting themselves in the foot because it looks like that tweet was turning out to be true. And yes, the implications and repercussions for Barack Obama's administration with this illegal surveillance is significant and could land them in legal troubles. Now, the new evidence we're seeing is revelations confirming that the FBI began spying on Donald Trump in July of 2016, and that Obama officials leaked information to the press in order to undermine the incoming Trump administration. This is all based on a new report coming Monday saying that Susan Rice, Barack Obama's national security advisor, while she was in the White House, asked for the identities of Trump's associates and contact with foreign officials to be unmasked or revealed in intelligence reports. Now, I have to explain this to you because the mass surveillance that happens on all American citizens is technically illegal. There is a legal program that spies on foreign officials and foreign diplomats and foreign politicians that are in contact with U.S. citizens. And that is a legal program because it admits, it classifies, it redacts, it makes sure that information from U.S. citizens who are in contact with these officials, that their information isn't leaked, that their information or their names even aren't known to government officials. And now we're finding out, according to former U.S. Attorney Joseph Giovanni, that Susan Rice specifically requested that the NSA provide her with detailed spreadsheets of intercepted phone calls with unmasked Trump associates, showing that Rice ordered the spreadsheets to be produced herself, which of course brings a bigger story in context here, and that is the resignation of Donald Trump's former national security advisor, Michael Flynn. As we know, the deep state and mainstream media had reports of Michael Flynn talking to a Russian politician and had the transcripts of those conversations, which were being spread around Washington, D.C. This, of course, was illegal, leaving many people in the Trump administration asking, why was his name made public when it was not supposed to be legally. This, of course, led to a big scandal, and Michael Flynn had to resign as national security advisor under Donald Trump, and ultimately undermining his administration with this scandal in the beginning of his presidency. And now we're finding out that it was Susan Rice who released this information, and many people are asking tough questions, like why did she have the transcripts of Trump's phone calls to foreign leaders in November of 2016? Rand Paul wants Susan Rice to testify before a congressional committee under oath, and Susan Rice is answering back saying, I leaked nothing to nobody. But people are still pointing out the fact, but it was you who made sure that these documents revealed Trump officials who were in contact with foreign leaders, which ultimately brings the responsibility towards her. Now, the story was originally broke by journalist Michael Cernovich, who just a week ago was declared a conspiracy theorist and a proponent of fake news by 60 Minutes. Cernovich originally released this story, and he even said that the New York Times was sitting on this information in an effort to protect the 
reputation of former President Barack Obama. He also made the same allegations against Bloomberg, which they both denied. But Bloomberg did release a story confirming Michael Cernovich's story, but still stick to the claim that they did not know about this and that they were not, quote, sitting on this story. Now there's a whole lot of fighting online, whether it was Cernovich who broke the story or other people who broke the story, which leads me to ask you, what do you think about Michael Cernovich? Let me know in the comment section below. It's an individual that we talked to before, we interviewed before on this channel, and it would be great to get your perspective on the latest drama happening just surrounding this story. A story which even Donald Trump Jr. tweeted out and congratulated Cernovich on, saying that he deserved a Pulitzer for. Now, of course, some mainstream media hacks, instead of even covering the Susan Rice scandal, cover the fact and find it more important to talk about this tweet between Trump's son and Cernovich than the actual scandal that's unfolding right in front of the Obama administration. Now, Michael Cernovich also makes the claim that the Obama administration spied on Sean Hannity and Eric Prince, and he is saying that this story that he released is only the beginning and that he is sitting on, quote, more information. So, of course, we will be on top of this story and a lot more here on youtube.com forward slash we are change. I look forward to your comments and discussion in the comment section below, and it's interesting to see this whole entire controversy, which should have been known, which we've been saying for a while, yes, everyone is being spied on, finally come to the light and understood by the general public. No matter how hard CNN tries to not make this a story, the more they do so, the more they become irrelevant, which I think is a great thing. Now, if you want to see more videos like this from us and help the growth of independent media so we could eventually destroy those corporate, corrupt, criminal, congested, convoluted, cancerous, cockroach news network, please support us on patreon.com forward slash we are change. Thank you again so much for watching. Share this video and stay tuned for a lot more.